Hi guys and welcome to Storytime Friends. I'm Amber and today I'm going to be reading The Good Egg by Joey, Sean, and Pete Oswind. The Good Egg. Oh, hello. I was just rescuing this cat. You know why? Because I'm a good egg. A very good egg. He's rescuing cat. That's very really nice. Looks like it's a kitty. It's true. I do all kinds of good things like I'll carry your groceries, I'll water your plants, I'll change your tires, I'll paint your house. If you need any help whatsoever, I'm your egg. That, that house looks kind of messy. He painted the person, the house, the ground, the tree. I've always been a good egg. It's been this way from the start, even in my earliest days. Back at the store, there were a dozen of us living un together under one recycled roof. There was Meg and Peg and Greg and Craig and Shell and Shelby and Sheldon and Shelby and Albert and Frank and other Frank. Eleven eggs weren't on their best behavior. They weren't exactly good. They ignored their bedtime. They've only ate sugary cereals. Sugarios, sugaros. They threw tantrums. They cried for no reasons. They broke their stuff on purpose. Why are they breaking that? Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, I tried to take charge. I tried to fix their bad behavior. I tried to keep the peace because I was a good egg. A very good egg. He's very nice. They shouldn't be painting on the walls, so, though, and spilling everything so he can clean it. Nobody seemed to care, though. Every night I was exhausted. My head felt scrambled. Sorry. He's taking a shower in the toilet. Then one fateful morning, I noticed some cracks in my shell. Yikes. Kick me. There were everywhere. My doctor said it was from all the pressure I was putting on myself. The pressure of making sure everybody was as good as me. I was cracked up literally. Something had to change. I'd have enough. Yolk. I told Meg and Peg and Greg and Craig and Shell and Shelly and Sheldon and Shelby and Albert and up Frank and other Frank that I was leaving. I can't be only good egg in a bad garden. I said, blah, 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 they replied. I left that night. I wandered from town to town. The hours became days, and the days became weeks. I lost track of time. I was alone. He drew all of his friends and rocks. Out there on the road under the stars, I really tried to focus on myself and what I needed. I took walks. I read books. I floated in the rivers. I wrote in my journal. I found simple moments to be quiet. I breathed in. I breathed out. I even started painting. The, the book said, Great Expectations. The Wizard of Eggs. Yokelist. Dragula. For once, I found time for me. And guess what? Little by little, the cracks in my shelf started to heal. My head no longer felt scrambled. I started to feel like myself again. I don't think an egg can balance a bunch of rocks on its head. I, so I've made a big decision. I'm returning to my old garden and my foot. 
and my friends. Besides, I'm kind of lonely out here. This time, I know what I need to do. I'll try not to worry so much. I'll be good to my fellow eggs while I'm also being good to myself. Here we go. Everybody missed me, and I missed them too. Welcome home. Hello, Meg. Howdy, Peg. Hey, Greg. Greetings, Clyde. What's up, Shell? Aloha, Shelly. Hey, yo, Sheldon. Hi, Shelby. Good day, Albert. What's happening, Frank? How'd you do, other Frank? Sure, every once in a while, somebody's still a bit bad, but it's not like before. Here's what I realized. The other eggs aren't perfect, and I don't have to be either. I'm okay with that. Looks like they're um, skating, well, skating, um, sledding, and going down the pierce. Yep, the old kind is back together with a solid dozen again. It's good to be home. And they're trying on each other. They do some underwear. And that dude wants to crack the girl's shell. And that's the end of the book. I hope you like it. See you next time on Storytime Friends. Bye!